What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 36 of this Ultimate Team Journey Around the World. Got our free pack here from the pre order, and they have to be coming to a close, I think, as it has almost been six months since FIFA has been out. So, the last couple of those coming in, and they have been rather useless, although they are fun to always just get a player here or there and test your luck. But it is continuing on here in Division 2. With four points after a win and a draw in the last episode to get us going. And we're going to come up against a very, very pacey BPL squad. I think he has three guys over 90 pace right there, which was pretty absurd. And surprised I did not see Luak Remy and Daniel Sturridge on the field as well. But here, Anatovic, nice little dummy, outruns everybody, near post, overpowered, yes sir. And we are up one nothing here. And it is the big man from Word of Bremen getting us going early on. Here in the 22nd minute, Okotai, terrific little turn there on Yaya Torre. And he's going to find the back of the net. And we were in control of this one in a 2 nothing game here, which is the most dangerous lead in soccer. And that would not hold up. As it's Torre there in the 43rd off a corner kick. And then he just got the momentum rolling and there was no stopping it. See there, good save by Jasperning, but Dragovic traps it right down to Robin Van Persie to turn and find the back of an empty net. And we end up going at the half in a 2-2 draw. And I just felt the momentum swinging. And it continued on in the second half. There, a terrible touch by Lee Gibb in the middle of the field. And Fernando Torres is going to outrun everybody. And he is going to find himself up 3-2 and this one would finish with him getting one more in the 90th minute here again Torres he's going to play the cheap little pass across there although it was a non-factor this one is going to end 4-2 here and a very disappointing loss we're going to take as there was just nothing we could do to stop the momentum of this one and it is one of those things that once it gets rolling there is not much you can do to stop it but we are going to continue on here and go back to that majority substitute lineup here, which we had a little bit of success with. And the real struggle here is that defense of Scherner, Pogatetz, and Ertel all being below 60 pace. We come up against another 4-4-2 BPL squad, and we play another match in the rain. And that is one of those things in FIFA I cannot stand. It is so frustrating. The trapping the passing the movement of your players really one of the more frustrating things that you deal with in fifa but we give up a goal there in the 18th minute after my two defenders collide but right off kickoff we are going to find ourselves the equalizer as Junjovic is going to head it down to Kulovic, who's going to find Okotai, who's going to let another firecracker go and find the back of the net there beating Hugo Lloris to even us up at 1-1 right after he had taken himself the lead. But we're going to move ahead now into the 42nd minute. Good chance of a corner. Pogatetz is just going to nick the top of the crossbar. And that would get cleared out. And that is how we would see this one go into half. In a game in which was pretty even throughout the half. Not many chances and not much domination going on from either side. But here Kulovic is in on the dummy and he gets taken down luckily there for this kid. But a quick restart finds Junjovic and Ike did not understand how that one did not find the back of the cage. As he has typically been a very good finisher, especially from that spot on his preferred left foot. Again Junjovic here, a good move, going to get a right footed shot at this time but it's blocked away there by Vincent Company. And off the throw in here we were going to get another good looking chance. And it's Junjovic again making things happen on the offensive end. Good switch here. And it's going to come to Okotai. Another good chance here. He has deflected out for yet another corner kick. Here in the 87th minute, it's Sikursky. A good chance deflected away by Hugo Lloris. And again, it's those goalkeepers that are so often talked about as not being worth their coinage. But so far, we have seen Buffon and Lloris both come up and make huge saves here and another great chance there by Wernsing who cuts inside on his right foot and is denied by Lloris and that is how this one would end in a 1-1 draw in a game in which we really took control of in the second half and had the better of the chances so it was a very disappointing result there not picking up three points but instead we settle for the one and you see where we sit now through four games in division two and that is going to wrap up episode 36 so if you guys enjoyed it a like comment and subscription would be greatly appreciated 
Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next episode.